Hello, it's Scott Manley here. One of the things I've always wanted to do in Kerbal Space Program is land a capsule under an inflatable wing. And with the latest Kerbal Space Program, it is actually possible to have inflatable wings. It's just they're attached to Kerbals. So this contraption is designed to test this. First of all, we put Valentina Kerman in the service bay behind the rocket, and then we boost it to a high altitude. This is merely to put the capsule on a trajectory, which is somewhat approximating re-entry. This capsule includes a heat shield, so it would in theory work in orbit, although because it's kind of long and thin, it would have a hard time getting rid of velocity. Now, uh, I of course deploy the parachute without opening the service bay, and this seems to actually work just fine. You just have to set the altitude correctly, and when you look outside, you'll see the parachute is there. Now it's just a case of assuming the correct attitude so that when the parachute deploys, the spacecraft doesn't fly out of control. And now the moment of truth, and it does kind of work. So this is obviously completely fake because the physics of the parachute are not really the physics of a proper inflatable Rogalo wing. Uh, the, the wing in the real th world would have been controlled by adjusting the lengths of those cables. And uh, you, people who have watched this channel for a long time know that I've tried this and it doesn't work very well. I'm, probably because I'm just not an, an, aer a, you know, an aeronautical engineer, right? But this thing is, the attitude control comes from the reaction wheel, the torque of the capsule, and thankfully it has quite a bit. We need to give it some extra... Uh, extra battery power and we actually stick an extra extra reaction control wheel on the back and the heat shield to kind of balance out the center of mass underneath this parachute. Now we're just going to try and turn this thing around and get head towards the runway. This is the new dessert runway from the latest Kerbal uh, update, Ker latest Kerbal expansion. It's a runway in the middle of the desert but it's called the dessert runway as I gather because it's six degrees south of the Kerbin equator, which means if you launch sideways at the right time, it puts you onto an orbit which has the same inclination and the same plane as Minmus, which is of course the desert moon. No Kerbals know what it's made of, but they presume based on its color that there is some sort of delicious, delightful, tasty dessert. Yes, we see those big flat ice planes, and we presume there is something sweet hidden underneath it, like a giant blue creme brulee. Here we go for the landing, and I'm going way too fast. This is going to be a fun landing, I can tell. So just try and hold it. Obviously, again, reaction control wheels are really going to help, and... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> that is not um that is not a normal landing attitude but hey look we're down we're down we're just popping wheelies every now and then let's hit the brakes yay and i finally got it there we go once again we'll get let this get to its altitude and then we'll try flying it so anyway, I've always wanted to have working Rogalo wings in Kerbal Space Program, but it's never quite worked. This should be enough altitude for us. So I should go this way instead. Okay, so... We've got the command seat. Once our velocity drops close enough to zero, we shall EVA and we shall uh, then fl jump in. So ready. Uh, board. There we go. And stage. And our deploy shoot. Okay, why did this not stage off? Said. There we go. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> now, now we need to actually deploy, change the deploy altitude to this. There we go! So now we have something that's a little silly, but maybe it will actually fly. <laughs> Look, this is, this is what I've wanted to do in Kerbal Space Program for a long time, is the Gemini, or Gemini, oh, uh, Gemini Rogalo Wing Lander.
Now, they ended up not using it, obviously, because they decided that it would be a little dangerous and, and a regular capsule recovery might just be a, the safer option. Okay, so now I'm going to try turning around. Oh, look, I mean, I'm going to, I'm turning pretty well. Let's see if I can aim for the runway. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> wow, this is really sensitive. Let's turn on fine controls here. Okay, so I'm dropping very rapidly, so let's try pulling the nose up now and see what happens. 70 meters per second, descent rate or sink rate is 27, let's pull back even more. So part of the issue is that he is nose down. So the wing is at a quite an angle here. Sink rate. Hey, it didn't explode! Oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so I think we can improve on this a little, right? We can absolutely improve on this concept. Uh, let's revert to the space plane hangar. I always, when you say, look, here's the clue, right? You, when you say it didn't explode, it's always too soon. You know that what's immediately is going to happen is that it's going to explode, right? Like here's the this this is how you do Kerbal comedy, right? Is you insist that something was fine and didn't explode, knowing full well that it is about to explode. <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody, please, if you see awesome clips like that, post them. Disable torque on pod. Maybe. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna head out a little so that when we start coming back, we will have... be a little away from the runway. We all one day shall explode. It is true. Explosions are in our nature. Okay, once again, heading skywards. Murphy really hates Kerbals. Kerbals just embrace Murphy. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, once again, wait for my vertical speed to get low enough. There we go, EVA, board, okay, next. Okay, now, I've got to make sure I get out of the way here. Deploy, shoot. There we go. So we are falling clear from this, good. Okay, so now he is flying again. Oh, a little bit of a wobble there. Let's try and pick up some speed, right? <laughs> I love the Lurugalo wings. It's just a shame. Like, can some modder just make this a thing that you stick on the side of your pods and then scale them up so that we can... Whoa! Yeah, scale... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that is a little... The physics on this are a little dubious. And I'm pretty sure this is why they never used them on the Gemini. In fact, look, my yeah, my velocity was backwards there. See that? Okay. Whoa, yes. So actually, look at my velocity vector here. That's kind of interesting. What I should do there. So I'm going to keep it just pointed at the velocity vector as my kind of stability control thing. And that seems to be much better. Right? Oh, that is much better. Sorry, I get itchy nose there. That that is sweet. I I like it. I like it. 
Okay, so now we just need to somehow put this down safely. So I'm gonna. F oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. It just, it does have a lot of, of, uh, velocity there. I don't think we can aim for the top of a vehicle assembly building. I think that is highly unlikely. No boom, Captain Cardboard asked. No boom, replied Garibaldi. No boom today. There's always a boom tomorrow. <laughs> what? Okay, we're going for the runway. We might be going too fast, but I'm gonna just allow that. Oh, <laughs> Jeb's got some upper body strength. Yes, I'm sure that is exactly what we've got going on here. Oh, 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 okay. Runway is not happening. Runway is not happening. We lost control right at the end there. <laughs> no explosion! <laughs> um, yes. Looked, it worked just fine. Oh. How did that work? Let's try boarding the seat again. Seat is obstructed, cannot board. In fact, I, I'm apparently just clipping through the rocket, which is so unlike the Kerbals. Why? What is up with the collisions here? Did this thing explode and I didn't realize it? Wow, yeah, he is he has become vision. <laughs> yes, um that's clearly like one of those infinity stones in his head there. So he can phase through objects like vision from those other movies that he was able to do that. Okay, let's try one more time. One more time we need to be able to do that. Jeb dies and... <laughs> hey, hey, no spoilers. No spoilers. We we don't speak about spoilers until, you know, next time when there's spoiler time. Babylon 5 was so good. I'm not gonna lie, Babylon 5 was one of the finest TV shows ever. Let's just turn the brakes off on these rear wheels. The pr thing about Babylon 5, actually, is it's amazing how many of the cast members died in real life. Season 5 was a little iffy, but it did have a few cool moments. Okay, ready for the EVA? Are you ready for the EVA? Are you ready for the EVA? Let's go! Annette's bored, and now we're gonna fly. Excellent. Now we need to get that uh, deploy shoot. There we go. And I'm going to turn on fine control here. There we go. Oh, once again, Londo and Jakar were such an amazing double act. They were. There is much uh, to recommend about that show. I should save that. I, I think saving has dubious um, behavior when parachutes are involved. Well, so much for that. Several of the actors in Babylon 5 ended up in Star Trek at one point or another as well. I mean, and obviously we had Walter Koenig who came over from 
Star Trek to Babylon 5 and was quite a major character. And Majel Barrett, yeah, she was in there as well. So, uh... Yes. <laughs> Babylon, well, the, so McThulu, the war in heaven is basically based on Babylon 5, right? That's what... There's so much in uh, Stellaris which is appropriated from other uh, universes and everything. So, it Stellaris wears its influences on its sleeve, as they say. Everybody gets to know where it all came from. And it's always cool to see new events which uh, you can kind of link back to your favourite shows, favourite movies or whatever. Equally, though, like, the I've just... In one of my games, I went and fell. I ran through the whole Horizon Signal events chain, and I, yeah, I turned the Earth into a black hole, and you know, mutated the human species to their uh, original prototype form, and uh, yeah, now everyone on Earth is repugnant, but is now natural physicists because we all understand the worm. What was will be. What will be was. A little here, gonna aim a little higher, just a little higher, just a little higher. When I say a little higher, a little higher, I'm always just thinking of Han in Return of the Jedi and like, or sorry, Lando, <laughs> where Han's like trying to shoot the Sarlacc and he's going, A little higher! Don't shoot my leg, homie! Oh, I'm hoping the solo does not disappoint because that would be nice. Okay, let's do this. Sync rate's two meters per second. <laughs> We're doing a stoppy down the runway. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you Gemini never trained, trained for that. <laughs> Can I do a wheelie like this? No, I wouldn't let me do a wheelie. I don't have the torque. I should probably hit the brakes at some point, but it'll probably face plant. <laughs> yeah, Jeb is a pro. I should probably cut my shoot at some point, right? There we go. This thing isn't really slowing down, though. <laughs> 